Hi, this is Masti Bardi for HAP 501 at George Mason University. I'd like to show you how to use Excel to conduct a two-sample z-test. Uh, now, what are, why are we using a z-test here? We have an example of, uh, of salaries for registered nurses and non-registered nurses, and we'd like to compare them to see if there's a difference between the salaries of these two groups. Uh, now, we can only use a z-test when we're comparing two sample means if we know the value of our population uh, variances uh, or if our samples are large enough that we can substitute the sample variance for the population variance. In this case, as I mentioned, we have 32 registered nurses and 34 non-registered nurses. So because both samples are larger than 30, we can assume they're large enough and substitute our sample variance for population vari variance and therefore run a z-test uh, that assumes that the population variances are known. So, okay, the first step would therefore be to calculate the variance of our samples and for that you can either use the summary statistics functions that you're familiar with or you can just use the function key and simply calculate just the variance. Here is the function you need, VAR for variance. Say OK and choose the range of values for the first sample registered nurses from A2 all the way to A33 because we had a sample of 32 and say OK and here's the value of variance for our first sample. Now for the second sample, we do the same. We choose the function key, the statistical variance, say OK. And this time we choose the values from B2 all the way to B35 for our sample of 34. Say OK. And now here we have our uh, two variances for our two samples. So therefore we can use uh, the, uh, the two sample z-test. How we do that? Uh, go under tools, data analysis, choose the z-test two sample for means. Uh, let me move this here. Say OK. And again let me move this here so you can see it. So our variables in range 1 are our first sample. Uh, let me go up a little so I can choose the label. Here we go. Our variables for sample 2, this one. Say OK. Um, you can either put zero here for hypothesized mean difference or if you leave it blank, uh, Excel will assume a zero. In this case, we're interested to see whether the means are different or not different. So zero is the value we're interested in. I'm just going to leave it blank. And then I have to enter the value for, our, for variance for our first sample, which is this one. So I'll just type it in. 264.1638 and the variance of our second sample is 166.4095 I had chosen the labels category so I'll um, mark that and then I will ask for the output to be put uh, right here so we can see it and say OK and here it is we have let me increase the width of the column so we can see properly so here Excel has run a z-test for two sample for means it's uh, Indi it indicates that the variances of n are known and 
using these values, uh, number of observations in each sample, the registered nurses and the non-registered nurses. And the, okay, the test statistic, the calculated Z is 2.34. And then it gives you p-value and critical z's for both one tail and two tail. And based on your uh, research, your what you had decided you were conducting the test on, you need to decide whether to use the one tail value or the two tail value. Again, in our example, we were interested in seeing whether there's a difference or not between the salaries of registered nurses and non-registered nurses. And we can, uh, so we had a two tail test and based on that, we can see that our calculated value, uh, calculated test statistic is greater uh, than our critical Z value for two tail. And therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis that the two salaries are equal. Um, we can also look at the p-value. The p-value for a uh, two tail test is 0.01. Uh, which is great, uh, smaller than the p-value, uh, the alpha 0 0.05 that we had selected. So again, we can reject an all hypothesis and say that based on these two samples, uh, we don't have enough evidence to uh, think that the salaries of registered and non-registered nurses are equal. Um, and that's how you conduct a, a two-sample z-test with Excel.